Avray is a Discord tool that can be used to make all the crunch, like dice rolling and casting spells, happen in a really streamlined and beautiful way on your Discord server. It's an awesome, really cool tool that we've fallen in love with, but it does have a steep learning curve, and so this video is going to show you how to get some really great use out of Avray and do it with minimal fuss, minimal learning curve, so that you can jump right in and have a great time playing Dungeons and Dragons on your Discord server. So my name is Artie from Cloud9 Tabletop, where it's our passion to help you elevate your game. We love Dungeons and Dragons and run a play-by-post service, and um, this tutorial isn't limited to folks that play on our server, but really anybody that's looking to uh, play play-by-post or get the most out of Avery. So what we'll be covering today is getting into playing Avre with Avery rather via a few ways. First we'll look at how to import your character into Avre. We'll look at using basic commands such as attacks, spells, skills and saves, basic dice rolls and how to swap your character. It's important to note that Avray really does do so much more. There's a full list of commands that are available from Avray directly. If you have Avray running on a server, you can type slash helper, exclamation point help, and it'll bring back a full list. Um, it, it can do things like track initiative and import monsters and import homebrew. It's just that, you know, we want it to really focus on the easy steps that you can take that really get you a ton of mileage. I also wanted to drop a note to stay tuned until the end of the video because we'll be sharing with you two different resources that you can use today to find Discord servers that are running Avre to play D&D games so that you can jump on and get into involved in a Dungeons and Dragons game today. All right. What I wanted to do first is actually give you a little bit of a tour of what Avre looks like in action. For those of you who may not have seen it yet, I'm going to just scroll up in a channel that a friend of mine uh, and mine, and myself rather, um, kind of walked through the other day. There's a bunch of RP in it, um, but I was using some basic Avery commands in my, uh, in my chat. And so as you can see, in addition to our regular text that's in the server, we have the, the roles that I was doing done with Avery. So one of the first things I did in combat was cast Disguise Self. So with a simple command, I was able to pop up the spell. It has a cool portrait there, shows how many spell slots I have, and gives us the description of the spell. So no more flipping around, looking through PDFs, or searching Google for what the spell exactly does. It brings back the text right there, which is awesome. Uh, right now it's limited to the SRD content, the uh, developer for Avre, uh, Andrew Zhu, has been recruited by D&D Beyond to work on integrating kind of the paid content from D&D Beyond. So if you have a character there and you've paid for content, um, it's on the horizon that your paid content should come through. So, but for now, note that it'll only show stuff from the SRD. So I'll just scroll through a little bit more. I've also got Eldritch Blast content kind of posted through here. It shows how I made an initiative check. It just looks really great. It makes your text just look awesome and is a very fast way to do dice rolls, skill checks, and spells. I really love the spells again because it really shows you all the details and keeps you from doing a lot of, of lookup time. Okay, so let me jump over to my tutorial channel that I'll be running you through here. and. We're going to go kind of in this in this order that we showed on the PowerPoint. We'll be looking at attacks, spells, skills, and saves. All right. So the first thing that you're want to, going to want to do before those basics is uh, importing your character sheet from D&D Beyond. Avery supports character sheets from a few different places. There's a Google version and a Dice Cloud version. Uh, on our server, we use really exclusively D&D Beyond, and so we're most familiar with it. So that's the way we're kind of building this tutorial today. So I will just show you a, uh, a quick screenshot here. 
So when you create a character on D&D Beyond, the um, URL that you use or the little link you click to show your character sheet is what you'll want to copy. So I made a character called Cloudy. He's a bard. And um, I've got this URL, D&D Beyond, slash profile, slash a bunch of stuff that shows you your, your character. And so you copy that in and you type this simple command into Avery. You do exclamation point, beyond, space, and then you paste that in there. It looks just like this. And so when, when I did that, this is the results I got back. I get my uh, nice stat block for my character, their portrait, and um, you know information about what they, they can do. So it looks great. So we'll keep on going with the assumption that you've got that character loaded in, and we'll walk you through live taking some actions with that character. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is attacks. So uh, there's a very simple command you can hit with Avre. All of Avre's commands are going to be exclamation point, and then the the first word in lowercase. So I'm going to just simply do exclamation attack. Sorry, looks like I misspoke there. Uh, it's actually going to be attack a space and what you're attacking with. So, so we'll just do a simple dagger attack here. So attack space dagger. Okay, sorry about the stops and starts for the last few seconds there. Um, that was actually probably five or ten minutes of real time. Um, what was happening was there, there was actually a technical issue with our server talking to the Avery server. Um, this is the maybe the second time I've seen that, so this is maybe just a heads up for you. Um, so if you do see that you're, you're typing in commands and it's not working, um, you can kind of check the status of the Avery server. They do have a Discord server that's up. Um, and uh, both times it's happened, it's kind of come back within a few minutes. So uh, we will just kind of roll with the roll with the punches here and uh, keep on going through the tutorial. So when I did just slash attack or, or exclamation attack, I got back a listing of what I wanted to do. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my dagger attack here. Very simple. It's going to show my portrait as well as my roll. So it's going to give me my to hit roll. It's going to roll a d20 for me. I rolled a 14 here and it adds my modifier for me and gives me the total to hit, which is an 18 in this case, and rolls my damage. A d4 for my piddly little dagger with no modifier on this bard, and I got a max of 4 damage. Awesome. Uh, and it uh, gives me just a little bit of an effect, says you can add your proficiency to the attack roll when you make an attack with it. So just really cool. I love that it shows the portrait there. Here's a few variations. I'll show you how to roll your attack with advantage and disadvantage. Um, this little advantage kind of syntax you can add to lots and lots of rolls anytime you would be adding a, uh, rolling a d20. So we'll go attack, dagger, we'll just go space, ADV. And so it'll roll my attack with advantage. Um, if you notice in here in my to hit roll, I had a three and a nine, and it shows my, nine, my three with a crossed out text in it and a 9 showing me that it's keeping the 4. So just really cool slick formatting there. Same thing with disadvantage. Attack, dagger, DIS for disadvantage. Again, you can use that for initiative rolls or skill checks and all kinds of things. Okay, so let's take a look at spells. So if you are a spellcaster, again, as of today, it will only pull spells that are in the SRD. So this little bard has Thunder Wave learned so I'll do a cast space spell name to make my spell come out in text so we're gonna do a thunder wave um, it's gonna pull back the spell name like we saw before it's gonna tell you what the DC is for the save I love it you don't have to math that out what kind of save it is and it gives you the uh, spell description and even how many spell slots you have used and left for the day um, if I want to cast this at a higher level, it's also very doable, very easy.